stupid. You know, I shrunk again. Look at me. I continually shrink. I get old. You look taller. I do stand up taller. I am five inches taller than she is. And we are wearing about the same type of shoes, the M5. I should be about like this, and yeah, I'm not. Oh, that, I just, anyway, that hurt my leg. Okay, but um, this is old okay. Cam. This is not a spring chicken today. We're going to be talking to you about Valentine's Day. Yeah, we got, as we've been doing this past, uh, since this fall, we're, <laughs> we're bringing out new versions, which are somewhat, they're not contradictory, they're just different information. So we won't be doing the same thing like four years in a row. <laughs> um, but one of the things is Valentine's Day, as most people know it as, well, I guess it depends on which side of the coin you're on. If you're guys, they hate it. If you're women, and children you love it. Of course, if you're a kid anymore, you say, you know, well, I wish the Republicans were back in charge because the Democrats have basically said we're not going to celebrate Valentine's Day or Christmas. The children don't say that. The children love it because then they can write, you know, the little Valentine's. You don't thing. get to do that anymore. But as they know? Nope, not under the Democrats. Oh. Democrats have said it's uh, racist and sexist and discriminatory. Mm -hmm. So there's no more, there are no more oh, holidays. That's so fun. I know. Well, it was all right for the Democrats mm -hmm. when they were younger, but they got to be older and it was all right for their children, the grandchildren. You know, well, those people don't, they're, they're criminals. They should be jumped, thrown in jail. So. Well, you know, it's always the ones that say, well, what about the children that don't get very many Valentines? Though? You might hurt their feelings. So in the name of not hurting anybody's feelings, we're going to spoil it for everybody. Oh, I remember. I was little. But didn't they, they were supposed to do Valentine's Day for everybody anyway. Yeah, you know, well, I was little. We used to have these, uh, you know, we, actually we, didn't, we had, we really didn't have paper bags. We had sort of wicker things. And everybody had a little wicker thing on top of their desk. And believe me, you were supposed to put a Valentine's thing in everybody's wicker thing. Could I say this is one of those holidays that probably causes, well, this and New Year's probably caused a lot of anxiety. Yeah, whether you're going to get something or not. You, know, whether you usually have a clue yeah, beforehand. I was, you know, I was dreaded. It's, it's what you do is when you're, when... In, you're in school, you always hang around with the the best looking guys and the best looking girls because then you're likely to get the leftovers. <laughs> Does that work? Oh, that's bad. Okay, yeah. so for those of you that would like to know what's kind of the history about Valentine's Day yeah. and more about what's going on behind it. Well, I know. Well, I know. The I dog. think there's some dogs in the and they're all walking together at the same time. And they're all letting sense. Monty know that this is this is their ground. No, it's not. No, but that. What most people don't re, don't really understand is Valentine's Day is actually St. Valentine's Day, but it's been dropped to St. because, unfortunately, the Democratic Party doesn't think you should be celebrating anything that's religious, so. Ah. But the history of Valentine's Day and its patron saint is shrouded in mystery, but we do know that February has long been the month of romance. I thought it was... June, June marriages or something. Well, I think it was just February because it's um, the same month as Valentine's Day. Yeah, but uh, St. Valentine's Day, as we used to know it, contains vestiges of both Christian and ancient Roman traditions. The orgies are okay, the Christian stuff isn't under the current administration. <laughs> so who was St. Valentine and how to become associated with the ancient rite? The Catholic Church recognizes three different saints named Valentine or Valentinus all of whom were martyred. You can only have one Saint Valentine. I thought, this is like IMDb. There's only one with the neighbors. I know. I <laughs> and mean, then the internet movie database. I mean, you can have... I, I, I worked on so many projects with the very same name, I can understand. Well, Saint Valentine may not have been Saint Valentine, but Saint Valentine was Saint Valentine. But Saint Valentinus was actually Saint Valentine. Are you sure that Saint Valentine was Saint Valentinus and not Saint Valentine? Well, St. Valentine actually is St. Valentinus. Uh, it's like a Three Stooges routine, isn't it? Is it a Three Stooges routine? Or Abbott and Costello. Who? Saint, yeah. Okay, who's St. Valentine? Who? Who's St. Valentine? I don't know who. He's St. Valentine. Okay. No, but don't you understand St. Valentine is actually St. Valentinus? No. 
What is St. Valentine? Oh, okay. You know St. Well, Valentine, don't you? Well, one legend contends that Valentine was a priest who served during the 3rd century in Rome. When Emperor Claudius decided that single men made better soldiers than those with wives and families, um, he outlawed marriages for young men. <laughs> Do they outlaw girlfriends too? Um, his crop of potential soldiers, <laughs> for uh, I guess for his crop of potential soldiers, um, justice really? of the decree, this is Valentine, he defied Claudius and continued to perform marriages for young lovers mm -hmm. um, in secret. When Valentine's actions were discovered, Claudius ordered that he be put to death. Yeah, and then other stories suggest that Valentine may have been killed for attempting to help Christians escape harsh Roman prisons where they were often beaten and tortured. Um, what happened to this image of okay, Valentine uh, shooting him with a bow and arrow like a Greek, like a Roman? Right, and having people fall in love. I'm going to try to explain. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. we'll, 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 we'll explain something very simply. Right. The Christian religion was created by Constantine the Great. Yeah. Constantine the Great was emperor of Rome. Oh. And you could not have been a patron, you could not have been a saint unless you were approved. You couldn't, you know, by the Roman government. And uh, then they, they were, they would basically, they threw, they, they threw, Jews to the thing, they really didn't throw Christian Christians through because St. Valentine brought the Christian religion to Rome. This is third century Rome, which was Christianity was now in Rome. I love this version, this is okay. a good one. And according to one legend, Valentine actually sent the first Valentine greeting himself. Um, while in prison, it is believed that Valentine fell in love with a younger girl, um, or a young girl, who may have been his jailer's daughter. <laughs> the only woman in the place. That's right. He was who, a priest, folks. Who visited him during, visited him during his confinement. Um, but before his death, it is alleged that he wrote a letter, um, which he signed from your Valentine, an expression that is still used today. <laughs> yeah. Although the truth behind the Valentine legends is murky. The story certainly emphasizes his appeal as a sympathetic, heroic, and most importantly, romantic figure. Yeah, what most people forget too is St. Augustine was the last unmarried pope. They, they wait, you know, we're talking, you know, the guy that's basically the terrible figure mm -hmm. that Michelangelo put up on the, uh, on the Sistine Chapel ceiling, that was the last of the popes that got married. Oh, really? Yeah, they used to get married. They used to have, they formed their own dynasty, basically one pope after another was in the same family. But uh, oh. I like, some believe that Valentine's Day is celebrated oh. in the middle of February to commemorate the anniversary of Valentine's death or burial, which occurred around 270 AD, which about the time Constantine the Great basically became first Christian. Mm -hmm. Others claim that the Christian church may have decided to celebrate Valentine's Day feast in the middle of February in an effort to Christianize celebrations of the pagan. It's all got to do with Christianizing pagan celebrations. Mm -hmm. Remember, the pagan celebration is all right in the United States. That's condoned by the Democrats. It's not condoned by the Republicans. The Valentine's Day is Republicans. The mm -hmm. pagan stuff is Democrats. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, in ancient Rome, February is the official beginning of spring and was considered a time for purification. Houses were originally cleansed by sweeping them and sprinkling salt. <laughs> I think they should have swept them earlier. <laughs> and a type of wheat called spilled throughout their interiors. Lucasilia was began at the eyes of March, February 15th, with a fertility festival dedicated to the Fangus, the Roman, the Roman god of agriculture, as well as the Roman founder, Romanus Remus. I told you, the Democrats would dance on top of tables for the orgies. Mm. And to begin the festivals, uh, members of the Uperci, an order of Roman priests, would gather at the sacred cave where the infants Romulus and Remus. That's Romulus. <laughs> Romulus, it sounds like we might have to be with some butthead. <laughs> yeah, be with. Well, okay. well, no, yeah. only because it's R and R and B and B. There's no other correlation, <laughs> right? Well, put it this way: Rome once had more people in it than it does today. I think it had like 14 million people at one time in the city of Rome. Huh. They were really productive kids, and they were the founders of Rome: Romulus and Remus. Romulus. Romulus. O R O M E, huh? Yeah. They're believed to have been cared for by a she wolf. Or Lupa. The priest would then sacrifice a goat for fertility and a dog for purification. I didn't like this is like I said, this is all stuff that you could picture the Democratic Party just going, you know, hey, let's celebrate the real Saint Valentine's Day. Let's have orgies. 
Yeah, and then the boys then sliced the goats hide into strips, dipped them in the sacrificial blood, and took to the strips, gently slapping both women and fields of crops with the goat hide strips. That sounds so different than... Basically, you, okay, just put it this way. How do you... This is how they were slapping. I guess they were radio kids. slapping is called rear end slaps, folks. I know. Now, I, I love this. Uh, this was the priests were doing it, right? Yeah. Because the boys... Um, it was talking about them being infants. I know. Okay. So they were infants and now they're boys. They, they graduated pretty quickly. Ooh, I love um, that. Roman women welcomed being touched with the hides because it was believed that the strips would make them more fertile in the coming year. Mm. Yep. So later in the day, according to legend, all the young women in the city would place their names in a big urn. Oh. The city's bachelors I was trying to make would, more fertile. Yeah, would then each choose a name out of the urn and be compared for the year with his chosen woman. He says the year, folks. They were getting married for hundreds of years before that, but this says the year. I know. These matches often ended in marriage. Often ended in marriage. Yeah, I love. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> I like Pope Geleticus declared February 14th to St. Valentine's Day at the end of the 5th century. The Roman lottery system of romantic period was deemed unconsidered, unchristian, and outlawed. I could guess so. Mm -hmm. You know, it's. <laughs>